Welcome to After Open Anthony Live. Colin Quinn is still here. Nobody else is here. What do you want, the radio? Yeah, we're back. Oh, <laughs> wow. Welcome to the show, Colin Quinn. Thanks, Sam. We were just talking about what an exciting day tomorrow is going to be. Yes, we were. You had no idea that uh, we'd gotten the updates from Lady Di? I did not know that. She called into this show first. She called into the after show. I guess she didn't know who I was. She must have thought ONA. I don't even know how she got this 866-WOW-1-WOW wow number. Oh, she's she has, got her ways. Huh? Lady Di has her, has her, has her ways. <laughs> yeah, she does. She's a sneaky one, but yes. it, nothing. I know that you, you're you a Lady Di fan from back in the day. Yeah, Lady Di and Marion, yeah. Nothing's changed with this woman. No. It's been, I think, nine years. No, five years since we've seen her. And no job. Still boozing. Oh, she just. I we find the only income that she has is like a while back. Her dad died, so she's just been using some money that he left her to buy booze. Oh well, that's well not nice, but you know. <laughs> she's got she's got some guy to pay her rent for. Her. It's oh. really quite pathetic. Who's the guy that she bring him in? We we talked to him on the phone. He's not. A, he doesn't seem like a jokey, jokey type guy. <laughs> no. no, that's not how I describe him. Kind of a surly. Uh... A bit of a brute. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yes, I can. I can. I can envision it. But so yeah, it's gonna be big tomorrow. And you're rescheduling your shit. Yes, I'm gonna reschedule some of the press I'm doing because I have to be here for the. It's a kind of a historical event. I think so. I mean, it's it's the reunion. You're not a Bobo guy because you're not. You're like the old school. I like Bobo. I mean, I like. The, I appreciate all the people that torture him on Twitter. You like that? Yes. You know, he, he they've gone in like a whole, like the listeners of this show yes. have gone in a completely their own direction with it. Right. He's got, he's gone through like four or five different Twitter handles because yeah. people keep convincing him that they're girls. Yes. And then he sends them his password <laughs> and then they delete his account every time. <laughs> So cruel. you know what? It's one of those things. Funny once, funnier five times. <laughs> right. It's just like the fir the first time you're like, oh man, that's really mean. <laughs> and by the fifth time, you're like, come on, he can't be doing it again. They got him twice. Ah. In, they got him twice in one day. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. That is cute. That is oh. great. And he calls the air like he calls the office and goes, "I got I got a new Twitter handle. I just wanted to let you guys know to follow me because I got a new Twitter handle." <laughs> yeah, people do. <laughs> people do seem to get a special joy, a sadistic joy in tormenting him. It really is horrible. I don't even know why we're laughing about uh, it. Uh, because guess what? As horrible as that is, mm -hmm. just the idiocy of Norton, Opie, and Anthony going to try to get Miley Ray Cyrus's a picture with Miley Ray. Is really nauseating to it, me. And it was amazing, too, because the girls are in here. Right. And we're like, okay, we're working on something with them. And then Roland comes in. And it's like, oh, we're going to do like a bit with Roland, blah, right. blah, blah. Everything gets put on the kibosh because it was, we yeah. might be able to get a photo with Miley Cyrus. The whole energy chain. Roland comes trundling in here, and he starts going, I will. <laughs> and everyone's like, what's going on? And even the girl's like, oh, is this the guy we're going to have a lap dance to? They're going along good sports. Sure. And instead he goes, well, she's down the hall. And even the girls, the 20-year-old strippers are going... What? Are you guys <laughs> turning down, like, naked girls in front of you because Miley Ray Cyrus is here? Are you 10-year-old girls? Yeah, like, what are you... Why do you care if you're not a 10-year-old girl? It was the most surreal. And I could see their faces confused, like, what is going on here? Is this some kind of a weird, you know? But all the guys in the room, all the, you know, yes, gentlemen of a yes. certain age at this point are going, yeah, well, get back in the hallway then. Let us know when Miley's yes. ready. <laughs> you're going, what? It's insane. It's a funhouse mirror and then down, masculinity. During the break, down in the lobby... Like half the show, E Rock's down there, Roland's down there. Everybody's got their cameras out, trying to figure out how to strategize when a Miley Cyrus photo can happen. None of them can ever complain about the death of masculinity again <laughs> no. because they're part of the problem. And as you pointed out correctly, E Rock was down there pretending to take a picture, oh, pretending yeah. to be the jaded board photographer. He's in helpful mode, like, yeah, I mean, I got the camera, so yeah. if anybody needs me, he's to like, take I'm just a, photo. a chronicler of uh, what's going on, you know? Right. I'm, yeah. Like, I go down there and be like, Iraq, Ant's not gonna, Ant said, forget about it. So, and Iraq's sitting there like, really? Well, I don't know. I don't. Well, well, we'll just wait and see. We'll, yeah. we'll figure it out because he wants to be down there. E e Iraq practices his size, his jaded size at home. <laughs> <sighs> All right, I'll stay. He's looking in the mirror, trying to figure out. No, I see a little smile there. I got <laughs> to be my emotionless. My eyes are shining. When I heard "Party in the USA," Miley's <laughs> original. Iraq, <laughs> e did you get your photo? 
No, I didn't get a photo. <laughs> see, see? Yeah. He was practicing. No, I didn't get a photo. I don't, right. what, 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 do I, what do I want? I'm with no, you guys on this one. one. But I couldn't get one. Why? What happened? Because it was only allotted for uh, Ann Jim. Was she picky about who she was taking photos with? Her management was. But, oh. It's incredible. I was going to say it was her management, because do you honestly think she knows Ant or Jim? Of course not. No. She has no nothing idea. To do with either I, those who creeps. Ma- yeah, who she make- was fine taking, whoever she was taking photos with, she was mm-hmm. fine to, you know, perfectly fine to do it, but uh, it was a matter of who got permission to actually go and get one. How does her management know who to give permission to? I guess Roland had set it up ahead of time for Ant and then threw <laughs> Jim in. So. Yes, Roland breathlessly announced... She looked great. Yeah, I mean, that's why she is who she is. She's a good-looking girl, but, you know, I don't know. So you're disgusted to find out that, like, Jim and Aunt were in advance. Well, no, but just the scurrying about when Roland came in, when those two girls are sitting really naked. (laughs) No, not not like... Accommodating everything, spank me, touch my tit, you want us to give a lap tit. There was nothing in their attitude but, like, total accommodation, funny, lively. Right. And... That everybody, they just looked, they looked. If they had had five more minutes, mm-hmm. they would have been disgusted and said, we're walking out on you fruitcakes right now. <laughs> Two blonde Polish sisters in their 20s and, with giant natural breasts. Yes. And they showed up in the lobby while she was there with everybody. <laughs> they just walked right in. Right. And as soon as she got out, they have this little photo booth in the lobby there. Yeah. As soon as Miley got out, the two girls hopped right in and started taking photos. See? Troy's pissed. You know Troy, don't you? Yes. Why, well, he was... Uh, yeah, he was correctly pissed because he was trying to get Roland to uh, to take the here's lap dance. A, here's what happens. <laughs> Roland, Roland. Hey, I told you he was pissed. Don't blame it all on Roland. I want the culture of this show to be at blame. But go on. Roland will, like the penthouse came in. These girls are coming in. Roland's like, oh, they're so hot. That's my shit. He loves blondes. Blonde sisters. Eastern Europeans. Yes. yes. One smelled. But go ahead. One smelled a little bit? Oh, Did, Colin, you were sitting next to him. Did they stink? I have a bad sense of smell. I didn't okay. smell. Maybe it was the other one. They, she didn't seem to smell. They could have, have, have shit as war paint on. That's true. And You're I right. would get a fucking lap dance from him. Good You're point. Right. You're right. A lap dance in front of the eight men here videotaping you. Yeah, that's real sexy. Listen, why, well, first of all... You're the perfect. You're the nightmare that they had to go through in another generation to get through to this country. <laughs> I'm telling you, yeah. <laughs> it's one of the perks of the job. Yeah, but but the other perk is you have hosts who want pictures with other celebrities. I'll say that the one thing I will say is that Roland did come in this room and said, "Look, do you want me to get a lap dance? Or do you want Miley Cyrus That's photos?" That's correct. And, and every it, one of these yeah. idiots goes, "Whoa, <laughs> Miley Cyrus!" Yeah, so we can't blame Roland for this. The culture in this show is. I, I asked if, if they said lap dance, I would sit down. If Roland had gone and hidden, like in the beginning, you came in and said, "I don't know where the fuck Roland is. He's hiding." And then I saw it was him like, "Scurry off." Oh, okay, no, I need to go talk to the management team. But then Roland finally came in. And goes, yes. you know, do you want me to do this lap dance or do you want Miley Cyrus photos? And Colin's right. Every guy in this room is going, well, you got to get the Miley Cyrus photos. Yes, the whole thing. And the girls were like this. <laughs> Look at like, what kind of, what they stepped into. Like they couldn't understand. If they'd been here five minutes, they would have spit on everybody and walked out. And said, I'm going to go marry yeah. a nice real man from Warsaw. And, and the, the problem is when, when you have a big celebrity and you're near them, you have to be part of the, like, the talent department. If not, they're not going to tell you to go away. And you mean, not only that, but let's be honest. Yeah. If Roland had submitted to the supposedly favor of the lap dance, People would have been taking pictures of his crack of his head. It would have been an occasion not to celebrate sexuality, but to try to humiliate Roland. <laughs> but you gotta understand. You're what? saying there was potential for something beyond flattery if Roland went through with this lap dance, Colin. <laughs> I think so. Oh, Jesus, but, but Roland, Colin, I would hope not. Roland knows that. And when Pull his shirt up. <laughs> when yeah. the girls were coming. Ah, the girls have their shirts off. Roland, take your shirt off. Let's take his shirt off. And these two Polish girls are taking Roland's shirt exactly. off. He knows what's going on. He's got tears in his eyes, he but he can't say whole, no. He can see the whole thing. I, told, I asked Roland, I said, would you do oil twister with them? He's like, yeah, no problem. I said, you'll do anything with these girls when they come in? Absolutely no problem. But and then, then as soon as the girls come in, he, he runs off. I understand he had to get the picture of the Miley Cyrus picture. So the thing came up, so it's when they won. But it's just, it's so, it, Roland changes his tune once the girls are here. Did you, did you, once they were here, did you still want to do oil twister with the girls? Now, did we have oil or a twister board? No. Okay, yeah. well, so that would have been difficult. But did uh, you still want to do oil twister with them, or, or did you start having you second thoughts? I didn't want to do it for a second. Troy comes up. Look at Troy. He's all tatted up. He looks like one of those, like... 
badass like black flag like early 90s california punk band guys sure you know sure I mean? sure one of the original MMA type kids. Uh-huh. He comes up and all say, "You want to do oil twist?" Of like, course, he's gonna say yes. Like one of the guys but who then is he in. Realizes, one of the guys who is in. You don't have my best. Inter- <laughs> one of the guys who is in MMA, like right before you could start making money doing it. <laughs> exactly. Like like, and now he's watching these other guys become successful, but he still kind of has that MMA look. Exactly. You just don't know who he is. He hung out. He was like the tough guy that hung out with Sublime. <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And he's gonna come here. Why would Roland think you have his best interest at heart? He uh, wouldn't. Do you sometimes <laughs> question that? Roland, whether or not Troy's suggestions have your best interest at heart? Yeah, I, I just was hungry. I'll do, I'll do whatever. But Roland's backed out of stuff I'll we were supposed to do before. <laughs> we were supposed to go to a strip club last weekend. He didn't want to. He's like, I'm going, I'm going. And then all of a sudden, the last minute, I get an excuse. A couple, a couple months ago, we were supposed to go get jerked off and a massage. <laughs> Roland, he fucking you back out of that. You didn't. You didn't get jerked off in a massage in a parlor. Depression. No, no. I just like uh, I go. Well, I get jerked off, or should I, I just pay my bills off. I pay my bills off. Paint your balls off. Pay the bills. Pay the bills off. Oh, I, I, how did you understand that? I speak, I speak Rolando. <laughs> it's a dialect. I could have sworn. Out of Armenia, called Rolando, that his family actually speaks. I could have sworn he said pound his balls off. Yeah. <laughs> pound my balls off or pay my bills off. Right. <laughs> So you chose to pay your bills instead of going to the massage parlor and getting a nice crank. Yeah, because but he, but he says he'll be like, I'll be like, hey, you want to go get a massage? You get jerked off this this week, mm-hmm. and he'll be like, yeah, let's do it, let's do it, we're gonna do it. Right. And then at the last minute, it's like, all right, let's go, ready to go get jerked off. And he's like, oh, it's it is an excuse. You don't ever know what he's saying. It's very vague. His story oh. changes each time. What, what is that, Roland? I don't know. You, you, you have second thoughts a lot. You're more of a talker than a doer, maybe. <laughs> Oh, like, with this channel? Turn your head. Jesus Christ. <laughs> he wants mean? to please. We, we all say, like the we buddy. Also do this, and we never do it. So, like, yeah, whatever. I think, yeah, I think it's a, Troy is like the buddy. He, you know, he wants to have and he wants to be that guy. And then at the last minute, he's like, it's like, not going to work. He goes into depression and just says, I'm going to go home. Troy's like the kid in high school that's like, no, we're going to rob this store. And you're like, yeah, yeah, because right. you want to be cool. But then you get there, and you're thinking about the right. cops, and you're like, I can't exactly. rob. So you get you take the ass kicking instead of actually going in and robbing the store. But right. The, the one time we did went and got a massage and got jerked off, he comes out <laughs> like he's fucking like a kid in a candy store. He was so happy he got jerked off. Yeah, like, but then it's awkward that you walk in, the other dude's trying to look at you, and you're like, oh, why am I oh, oh, fucking about shit? shit. <laughs> but then, uh, hey, I'm a fucking see me a fucking walk in. <laughs> Yeah, Colin's walking around. Everybody knows who he is. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, fuck that. Yeah. Look right in the eye and go, hey, my back is sore. Yeah. I'm going to get a massage. He's not sitting there worried about a Huff Poe article that says yeah. Colin Quinn yeah. cited in a Swedish right massage go, parlor. Yeah. Were you just getting a massage? Yeah. I was just getting a massage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a racquetball accident. <laughs> what are you going to do? Yeah, if that's your excuse, that's that's outrageous. Even Colin is not on your side with that one. No, I can't. I can't side with you on that one. How, co- how come you're backing out of, of massage parlor dates? I don't know. Now I'm starting to worry about the about the lap dance too. It, and the oil twister. It, 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 the oil th- we're all we a little like, worried about. We, we all like like there's oil and you goes the oil or twister boy drink. <laughs> <laughs> What's right there complaining? He goes, dude, he came to me. Like, he said he would do oil twister with the girls. He's like, what? it's a good thing I didn't buy the yeah. oil twister. What a waste of the money. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, they just filmed it. Look at all the other interns. They're great career things they have after here. No so thanks. then why would you agree to it before? Why would you be like, oh, yeah, I'll do that? It's in the office. It's like the, oh. it's like the meetings. We agree to everything the management says, and then when it happens, we're like, eh. It's Colin Wright, are you going oh, through a little so bit of wait a minute. So oh. you see... Troy as management instead of just your friend. That's is that a little it? strange. No, it's just like what people say stuff here. Like, all right, whatever. Like Troy is the type of guy, like your friend, you could talk to, whatever. You can be, you yeah, can speak to him confidentially. But yeah, you don't want to appease your friend. You appease management. You yes. just say what they want to hear. Do you do that a little bit with Troy? Troy reaches just... out to you mm-hmm. as a friend mm-hmm. and you treat him like management. Where's yeah, that coming from? Exactly. Maybe middle management. Is he your friend, or is he? You know what I mean. You've got to, you've got to stand and go, Troy. Listen, I'm sorry. I'm just in a depression. I'm feeling a little insecure. I don't want to go get jerked off. I just can't do it today. <laughs> you've been there before, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so if I've ever said I've turned down such a great offer. <laughs> so you're telling me you'll pay for me to get jerked off? Oh, he didn't say he'd pay for him. Are you paying for Roland? I, I had to pay for. I had to say, dude, I will pay for you to go get jerked off. How depressed can you be? How depressed can you be? 
Yeah. All you have to do is show up and get an erection. All you got to do is wake up and know most people <laughs> show up and get an erection. <laughs> or, uh, oh, maybe there's more to it. <gasps> Roland's closet, gay. he's gay, and he doesn't want to have to deal with explaining to some, you know. So masseuse, like, listen, miss, don't tell my friend. We'll say we had a good time here. Yeah, I want Troy to, to think I'm cool. Girl. Right, yeah. right. But I want you to have a young... Filipino boy in the premises. Could you please slip into this room for 15 minutes? Do you have a back door in this, uh, in this little There's massage room? with that. Just tell her to bring her, her, her nephew in or whoever. <laughs> right. Every massage parlor has like two Filipino boys that they have like they? somewhere in the back just in case. Oh. Yeah, that's right. That Trust is, me. That's interesting. Uh, I'm an expert here. <laughs> All I'm saying is this, Roland. You got to just say, look. We all go through depressions, heavy depressions. You got to wake up and go, all right, I'm going to depress, but I'm going to go through with it anyway. Who knows? Something could have happened. You guys might have had a couple of laughs. Bonded. Maybe that's the thing that's going to break you out of your depression. Yeah. It's not it's, just the jerk. It is. It's the bonding. It's the hanging out with your buddy. That's the only way anybody gets through this miserable existence. Right. Right. I mean, you see, and, and, and you see the way Colin and his buddies treat each other in here. Oh, my On a regular God. basis. It's horrible. If anything will drive you to a depression, yeah. it's hanging out with the people that Colin Quinn calls buddies. Yeah. Hey, Bob Kelly, his seventh fat. Right. His seventh what? Fat. Yes. Seventh fat. I mean, all the people that are showing concern for Bob Kelly now are the people that drove him to become overweight. Yeah. So, and, so. Now, and now he has a food show that he eats a lot. Well, yeah. it looks delicious, though. Does it? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So you think it's a, is it a little bit of a depression? Who knows? It's this place. Well, they throw dicks in your ass and they suck the life out of you. Maybe that's what it is. You don't well, feel like getting jerked off after a dick was just in your ass, you know? That's yeah. a good point, too. <laughs> but getting jerked off always makes everything better. That's true, too. For you, Troy. I mean, if anybody. Yeah, any but ready, red-blooded American. Roland doesn't have the confidence in his body that somebody but like you, you does. You, you know just, what I mean? You're, you're paying for a service. Who gives a fuck what that girl thinks? Maybe Roland does. Roland's, you know, he's not used to uh, women... Responding well to his to his to his body, the way you are is that right, Roland? Sure, a little bit of that. That's right? a good point. You know, like like Why when did you, yeah. when Troy takes off his towel, all the little weirdo Russian massage girls are probably like, oh my goodness, look at him, look at him, right. Asian, whatever they are, whatever they because are. Because you enter the table shower, he's like, hello, ladies. Right for someone like me or for I, someone like I Roland, it's more the of a horror I go, I go show. by myself. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know, you got to have the confidence just to take off your towel in front of these women. Yes. Maybe Roland's not packing uh, Troy, a whole lot down in his sorry, pants. Sorry, Troy. <laughs> you know, you never know. Not everybody's used to Troy. He takes off his towel. All the girls like, oh, guy from Social Distortion. Nineteen <laughs> 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 Yeah. You know how they all love <laughs> punk music from the mid to early 90s? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this guy's influenced by Henry Wallen. <laughs> But you know, maybe, 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 maybe you need to be a little more sensitive with Roland. Maybe you need to hold his hand a little bit more. Maybe not so much tough love and more love. Love. But it doesn't sound like tough love. It sounds like he's like, "Hey, let's go get jerked off." And Roland's like, "Yeah, all right." But, I, then, that, why, but why does he say yeah to it? Why do you say yeah to it? I don't know. It's probably <laughs> the job, and you feel, "Yeah, sure, yeah, yeah." Yeah, he figures it's just small talk, just people pleasing. It's just weird that, like, and then, but the people please, like, I would say if somebody was like, "Do you want to get jerked off?" I'd be like. That sounds good. Yeah. You know, yes. But then why does the no come when it comes time to actually go get jerked off? You're a single guy. I don't know. You don't know. I told you, it's a depression. But can't you just snap your? I mean, that's what you got to do, isn't well, it? Snap yourself out of it, at least for the moment, and say, all I got to do is walk up to this massage parlor. I'm paying this woman to jerk me off. If All I have to do is lie there. If I don't, if I don't perform well, that's her fault. Well, maybe last time he went, maybe it wasn't fun for him. Maybe he saw things that Troy, being just a, you know, a superficial jock guy, yeah. didn't, couldn't couldn't see. Which is like, <laughs> wow, this is a sad environment. Troy said, like, hey, isn't it great? It jerked <laughs> off, right? Like he's back in the frat house. <laughs> <laughs> like, Roland, Roland actually takes a moment to see the humanity in what's going on around him, whereas Troy is like, guys, we're all going to get jerked off. <laughs> Maybe a little of that is happening. <laughs> is that what's going on, Roland? Yeah, I think so. He's like, hey, and you know what the funny part was? I dipped into a purse and robbed her after she jerked <laughs> right, off. Right. High five. <laughs> Pound me out, bro.
It's dark. Looks like Chernobyl. They can't afford to build. It's Chernobyl. <laughs> is it Chernobyl in that place, Troy? Or are you just no. kind of so focused on the fact that you're about to get jerked it's off? It's a sad place. It's, 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 uto- no, it's utopia. It, it is. It is. It's, it's dark. They yeah. play sad music. No, they play nice, relaxing music. And there's like music. three aging yeah. girls like sleeping. And the like, woman smacks them. To go right. upstairs, no, they Colin. Do I think we're we start we're starting to hit on something here. Yeah. Yes. No, they here, don't. One girl's like, saying, eh, they're screaming at each other, and then the girl goes upstairs. He's exaggerating. Yeah. They yeah. come out. They're they're gorgeous little like nineteen year old Asian girls. He screamed at. And and Roland probably looks at them like, what went wrong in your life that at nineteen mm. you're jerking off somebody like Roland? No, I'll tell you exactly what it is. He gets depressed when he walks in, and he smells like the half-cooked Chinese food yeah. that they have to, sit, they have to put aside. <laughs> then one guy passes by, who's like Just, the, you know, the head of the triad. He collects half the money. The girls don't even make money. They're like fucking indentured servants. Right. They're paying off their passage from fucking... You know, Nanking and shit. Yeah. I don't know. It's a depra- and he's just looking at cold noodles and a little styrofoam <laughs> tin that have been there for two hours because you just can't finish your meal. <laughs> they got to pay their bills, though. No, I'm getting depressed. <laughs> Exa- is that what it is? You see a little of that humanity in there, Roland? Yeah. You're like, okay, this is where my life is. <laughs> Troy, do you think you're... He you wants be- love, Troy. Yeah, do you get that? Roland wants love. But he wants love? Yeah. I think this is where my life is. For us, it's an excursion. For him, he's like, this is it. You see yourself more as like the Troy guy. Like, you you guys are the jocks. Well, I Kind of like, we're just here to get our dicks off. Normally, I wouldn't say I was like that except my picture when I was 19. (laughs) Let me see that, by the way. I haven't seen that. Have you seen my picture yet? No. It's really, it's a little troubling in some ways. People could check that out on your Twitter. Oh, and E Rock just informed me it's been posted on the Opie and Anthony Facebook page, too. That'll be perfect. That's gonna bring that's gonna bring some positive responses. <laughs> so far, all kindness, correct? No, there've been some very cruel things. Actually, Is that in right? Ways. I hate yeah. to hear that. No, yeah. well, uh, here's one of them. Yeah, you, tell me, tell me. Why don't you just look right there on the gun? Don't you have a? No, this is my. The well, this phone is one picture thing. here. Oh, you can see that's the close up. That's the close up. Yeah. There's a young Colin Quinn. Yeah. He's got a. I'm 19. I look like I'm 40. <laughs> yeah, it just looks like you if your hair grew out. <laughs> <laughs> like, geez, Colin hasn't shaved in a while. Yeah, no, I'm definitely not. Uh, I was not a uh, very healthy person. <laughs> Let me go to Red Bear in Philadelphia. What's up, Red Bear? Yeah, I want to break down this whole Roland and uh, Troy <laughs> dynamic. Yeah, please do. <laughs> Roland, Roland is Elias and Troy is Barnes. <laughs> 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 from platoon <laughs> do you think that troy maybe uh there is a difference in perspective here that maybe the fact that you're a well manicured style styled handsome gentleman you know good looking guy in manhattan and roland is just this kind models. of models wearing <laughs> weathered large mexican dude <laughs> leaves you guys looking at the world at different maybe you're a little not quite in touch with the way the rest of us see the world. I'd understand that if we were going out to a bar and we were trying to pick up girls. From I, your giant, good-looking golden throne. You don't see what it's like for all of us down at the uh, on the floor. Is that right, Roland? You know. Yeah, I, I, know. know. <laughs> I know. I would understand if, if we're like, let's go out to a bar, let's try to get girls. But if, we're, if you're paying a girl, who gives a fuck what she thinks of you? Yeah, Just but go get jerked off. You probably have to have that mentality going in. Like, you have to have that mentality. Because you don't give a fuck what girls think of you in general. Because they're always like, oh, Troy, your hair looks so pretty today. <laughs> his whereas, quaff. Whereas, right. whereas, it's his quaff. Whereas Roland is not used to kind of not giving a fuck. Because he right. very much gives a fuck. The minute a because woman gives Roland any kind of positive attention, he's in love. Because that's what happens. No, they go, oh, at least you have some of your hair left. Oh, <laughs> right. thank you, you cunt. <laughs> right. I hope you have retarded kids. <laughs> oh, all right, gee, Roland. <laughs> <laughs> I've suddenly become the serial killer. Yeah, I don't know if we need to. He's got a lot of rage in him. Yes, he does. That's why I'm trying to let that rage out. <laughs> I, I'm it's through, to the, through it. his dick. Yes. <laughs> That's where the rage comes out. Listen, I'm going to tell you something. As Please I do. said before, yeah. we went to a, a massage parlor. We got jerked off. Mm-hmm. Roland was so excited when he got out of there. We went, we picked out on barbecue. Oh, we had a- <laughs> see, that sounds like a good night. Yeah. Yeah. He blessed. And he felt great. He was giddy. It's like, whoa. It was a good release for him. Do you find trouble, Roland? Do you not remember how good the time was? I mean, I do, just when stress builds up here, it just. But wouldn't different. that isn't that isn't what could be better than coming and eating barbecue to get rid of that stress? Mm, I think like a little dessert after that. A little dessert. A little, did you treat him to dessert? He did. We did. Yeah, he had dessert. We had a great time. Well, yeah. that's why I know it's in him. I know he wants to do it because it happened the one time. 
Yes. And, and it happened twice. It. And the second time, that's when I had to pay for him. <laughs> <laughs> You are hell bent on getting Roland jerked off. Because you know he needs it. There is nothing that will stop you from completing this mission. Yeah, you know he needs it. I mean, Roland strikes me as a guy that does need to get jerked off. So we should call Bert. This is our documentary. <laughs> yeah, get him in here. Do you not, Roland, why not accept a gift from Troy of a jerk off? I don't know. Now, now I'm not saying Troy will jerk you off. Actually, Chris in Brooklyn Listen. has yeah. a question. Okay. What's up, Chris? Thank you. Hey, I was going to say, that's the problem. Troy asked Roland if he wanted to get jerked off, and Roland said yes, because he thought Troy was going to do it. <laughs> is, that, is that what it was, Maybe Roland? that is it. Oh, uh, do you think? It may be that he's gay. But um, but if it's not, but either way, right. put it this way. I hope that guy dies today. <laughs> <laughs> Tragically. T today. Today. So I hope he gets kidnapped and murdered. There you go, you I asshole. I think... <laughs> Well, maybe not today. Tomorrow. It's one of two things. Either he wants to go, look, Troy, just jerk me off yourself, which is fine. You can ask him, Matt. What's he going to say? Or right. he's trying to say something else, which is more of a bro thing. Because, you know, Troy could be like his bro. So it's like, hey, bro, we got jerked off. We had barbecue. You know what? You're in great shape. And then Troy's like, whoa. He's like, not like that. I'd like to be your fucking workout buddy. Why don't you teach me how to work out and get in good shape? Right. Because what's better for getting out of a depression than working out like a beast? Rolling be one of these savages with those fucking smitties. He needs a workout partner. I've tried that. Colin, I've, Colin. What? I've tried that. Wow. What's your problem, Rolling? This guy <laughs> reaching out to you as a buddy, and you just keep rejecting him. And Colin he speaking, just doesn't fucking like you. Colin speaking from experience, okay? He went through some weird times when he was coming in on this show, and he was just talking about being locked uh, up in his apartment and writing down on scraps of paper and all that stuff, yeah. But you know what? He lost a bunch of weight. He got out of the depression. He's got two one-man shows out of the deal. Yeah. Okay? He's come out on the other side. And we're all always going to be depressed a little bit. The whole 90% of the world is in a depression most of the time. Mm -hmm. A little bit of a depression. But you got to do things to get out of it. Here, what's really weird is here's Troy offering the hand of friendship and roll. The problem on is Roland just doesn't like you, Troy. <laughs> fucking back off. He doesn't like your personality. <laughs> Turd. He fucking doesn't like you. What if that's, Deal with it. Roland's just a polite guy. That has just been like, Troy, I don't want to get jerked off with you. I don't want to go to dinner with you. I don't want to see a show with you. I don't want to work out with you. I want nothing to do with you. We've gotten to know each other, and I don't like what I've learned. Is that what it is? No. That's what it is. We figured it out. That's all it is. He's like, you can pay for me to get jerked off, and I still say, go fuck yourself. Yeah. yeah. How about you take your money, you put it back in your wallet, and you go fuck yourself. That's right. Stick it up your ass. Uh, 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 yeah. Rolling. Yes. Maybe time for Troy to back <laughs> off a little bit. There you go. Back off, turd. No, it's fine. <laughs> I, I like that. We've gone from, uh, okay, theory one. It's maybe nice. Roland is in love with Troy. Right. No, that doesn't make sense. Theory two, he hates him. Yeah. <laughs> he can't stand his uh, sight of him. one of those two, that's for sure. Yeah, he's depressed. He's sad. No, no he's happy. What's wrong with him? Yeah, he's disgusted Look, all I'm by saying him. is he invited you to work out. You should have at least, even if you think he's a miserable cocksucker that he is, mm -hmm. you should have at least worked out with him a couple of times a week. <laughs> <laughs> I told him, I said, get he a did. bike. We'll go for bike rides. Because it's fun. It's a good way to lose weight. You get to see the city. Yes. And he, and he, or at least like, get one of those fun city bike passes. <laughs> he's like, oh, when I get my raise, I'll do it. I'll get it. Never happened. Fucking yeah. When I get my tax refund um, check, I'll do it. Wow. Never happened. Oh, man. Do you notice a pattern? There's another pattern here, by the way. Tell me. Which I've noticed. By the way, now we can rule out the gay theory, because there's some... Got muscular guy with tattoos goes, hey, let's go bike riding together. <laughs> you okay, go, okay. Yeah. Hey, maybe the guy does like me. But also, the pattern he bought is... three bikes why, just in case. He just said, when I get my raise, when I get my tax check, and just now, what he say? I'd like to pay my bills. Or play with my balls, whatever he said. <laughs> it's all money. Roland's a cheap motherfucker. Or else he's got some secret things he's spending his money on. What are you spending on? It's money, because yeah. it's always coming down to money. That's right. always the excuse. Right. He's, the, got, he he's a single just, guy. It's not like he's paying for a guy, family. Yeah, living in Queens and a you know uh, in an uh, SRO. We and I moved to uh, Wall Street. I live by there. I live on Murray Street. He's not going to want to hang out with you. He won't even hang out with Troy. There's no size places down there. I live right, right near you. Yeah, where I live on Murray. I live right on uh, Rector. Oh my god! Holy shit! We should hang out. Yes. Ron, I'll Troy, hang out. Troy, would you be upset? Would you be personally hurt? <laughs> of course he would. If Colin came in like tomorrow and goes, yeah, 
Roland and me got hand jobs. Yeah, yeah we're going for bike rides. Yeah, we're going for bike rides. <laughs> yeah. Going to get a little dessert we're afterwards. Gonna, we're going to work out. <laughs> Imagine seeing us. We send we, we send Troy pictures of us in Battery Park City on those fucking yeah. bikes. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> then, then we'd figure out, some, out matching shorts. The missing piece of the puzzle, because two months later, Colin and Roland would say, look, we're a couple, and we want you guys to all be okay with that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> we started as friends, but we've, we've fallen in love. So just neither to, of us saw it coming. Just to turn down the idea of uh, working out with Troy, it's kind of, it is bewildering a little bit. Right. When you but need, it is his fake money. He's always talking about the money in his mind. It's the money thing. And now his excuse is going to be, hey, when I lived in Queens, I could have done it. But now I'm in Manhattan. You're going to spend your whole life worrying about money. When are you going to die? And you go, wow, I could have had a good buddy, a workout partner, a J.O. partner. I could have been working out. <laughs> That gets the antidepressant working out. Yeah, right. Nothing's better. They proved better than antidepressants or therapy working out. Yeah. Rolling. I was depressed yesterday. You know what I did? Got on my bike. And then when I came back, I wasn't depressed anymore. This is ludicrous. Roland's sabotaging himself and sabotaging his potential friendships. You're right. Or love affairs. We don't know. He's all love affairs. We don't know 100% yet. He's a shut down son of a bitch. I think it has to do with his ethnicity. You're Mexican? Yeah. But he's in very de he's in denial of it. He hates that he's Mexican. Well, why don't you go to the embrace your Mexicanism? There's a Church Street boxing right around the corner. You go over there and start boxing. Once you get into that groove, you get your Mexican heritage comes out. You'll be moving around like one of those great huh? fighters, like like what's his name, Canelo. Oh, Canelo, <laughs> get in the game. <laughs> That's right. Let me go to uh, Clint in Alabama. What's hey, up, Clint? Hey, man. The one thing y'all are missing here is that twice Roland was able to control himself when he was getting a hand job. <laughs> He's ready to take it to the next level. He wants to kill one of these aliens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. Oh, uh, yeah. Before Rolling, when Roland is just all pent up, everything's fine. He's just got all his anger pent up. The minute you jerk him off, he's going to start slaughtering bitches. Well, yeah, the way you describe him, that may be a good theory there. Yeah. Is that what he's you're afraid to be around? Do you see like it's like a bull with a red flag? Oh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> you don't think all he of goes, a sudden oh, you no. just grab her by the skull? He goes, oh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> if it was a no, you just say no. Right. Like maybe you I, I, I didn't hear the guy. So he, said, he said the problem is that you have all this rage that you'll get jerked off, and some of the rage will come out, but it will just unleash Pandora's box, and you'll start killing women. I would kill women. Who would you kill? I don't know. Troy? <laughs> Troy, would you kill Troy? Nah. He was too far for me. <laughs> Where did yeah. you go to high school? Uh, Santa Monica. Aha! I knew I was onto it. <laughs> oh, you figured it out. But what we said originally, all those bands from Orange County. Oh, my God. That's every guy you went to high school that's with. Every guy, all the popular guys were Troy. And they were all making fun of Roland and his, and his early mustache. <laughs> and my Indiana Jones costume. Yeah. And his, and his mustache <laughs> that's way too thick for him to be that young. See that? Wow. Why, is he gonna, why is he having a problem with me? I'm here trying to help him out. But he still remembers. You're you a your, representation. You and your dumb friends going to all those concerts and yeah. circle jerks and fucking social disorders. <laughs> <laughs> you guys were listening you to... Where did you grow up, Troy? Allentown, Pennsylvania. Oh. He's like a juggalo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why, why is that have to be Detroit? No, 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 no. Because you know there are a lot of people in Allentown, Pennsylvania. You're telling me there aren't a lot of There's juggalos lot of in juggalos Allentown? Everywhere. <laughs> They're everywhere. <laughs> Very popular. Yeah. Um... You're telling me, though, that you couldn't see yourself as a representation of that guy who, like Colin said, was playing Ookie Cookie and listening to Social Distortion yeah. and just hanging out with his bros but having contests over who could come the quickest. and right. just Everything was a competition, none of which Rowling could ever win. Yeah. But now I'm trying to reach out to him exactly. and help him out. Yeah. Do you see that, Rowling? Do you see that he's trying to be helpful now? Yeah, yeah, he's to be helpful. That maybe this guy that you hated in high school is now reaching out to you and saying, Roland, I want to be your friend. But see, here's the thing about Mexicans. They're very proud and very stubborn. Mm -hmm. So right now, Roland, underneath this nice guy, is thinking, reach this out bravado. to me. You fucking reach out to me. I reach <laughs> out to you, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. I'll fucking die before I fucking ever go get jerked off with you again. <laughs> you know what I mean? I do. It's I... a machismo thing. Yeah. Ryan in Philly. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Ryan? Quinn. Yes. You fucking dickbag. I'm going through depression right now because of you. <laughs> it's that Why? picture he posted, Why? isn't it? <laughs> Why? So, so I grew up around the years of when you were on that famous television show, Remote Control. Do you recall? Yeah, sure I do. And what the fuck would you do when you were on it all the goddamn time? Smoke. Smoke. Yes. 
Well, I'm addicted to fucking cigarettes. <laughs> I'm trying to quit right now, and I can't do it. And I was influenced by you. Oh, I'm sorry. Jesus I'm sorry. You always hear that, like, if you smoke on TV. And I've heard it from so many people. I know you tell them the truth. Getting confronted that you looked cool right, smoking sorry. those cigarettes. But look, I quit myself 21 years ago, and I'm telling you, it's a new bright world out there, young fella. <laughs> <laughs> it can really work out. Just, you know, <laughs> good luck. Yeah, well, you're a fucking millionaire. You you can buy a millionaire. It. You yeah. Have to buy to fix it. You, you're you're a filthy rich, but you looked incredibly cool doing it. I went to school. <laughs> not only was I not cool in school, but I'm addicted to cigarettes. I'm going to die of cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Apologize to Ryan. I, 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 Ryan, I am very sorry. Thank you. I'm very sorry, Ryan. There's nothing I can do about it, but I'm very sorry. Well, look, maybe when you, I'll visit your yeah your they, grave. They could do is see how cool you look now, not smoking at the one man show. Yeah, but I look so much cooler then. He's right. <laughs> is that right? You see my picture on Twitter, Ryan? I am confident. Fucking, I look Twitter. good. You can go with it. I was uh, smoking three packs a day back then. What do they have to Google to find your one man show? Horrible, but it is true. Yeah. Like, a lot of kids used to come up to me and go, "Hey, man, you're the reason I started smoking." <laughs> oh. Makes you question a lot of things. Ah, oh. what, what do they Google to find your one man show? Uh, fucking my name on concert, but whatever. Yeah, I love how people always have to put links. Google. I thought Google. You don't need links anymore. Just Google. <laughs> Google Colin Quinn. Unconstitutional. You, unconstitutional. You'll see his one-man show. You can also hear him on... He'll be back tomorrow. Yes. For the return of Lady Di and Marion. And Bobo. And Bobo. Uh, Troy, Roland, I feel like we've come a long way with you guys today. I feel wow, like we got we to the bottom of it. all the time. Yeah. We haven't got to the... Well, are you kidding me, Sam? We've scratched <laughs> the surface of the depth of... Ro Roland's like Mexico itself. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's got this amazing, complex history, and there's a lot of drama, there's a lot of bloodshed, a lot of sorrow, and a lot of beauty. Colin and I are pitching a show to Sirius XM where we bring people on, we analyze the relationships. Yes. It's going to be like, it's relationship therapy. Yeah. With Colin and Sam. And sometimes it's a bromance relationship. That's right. That's I like right. this it's idea. It's friendships, it's, it's romances, it's everything. Yeah. Well, uh, thanks for hanging out, Colin. Oh, what a blast. This was this is better than, than the show itself. Let's be honest. <laughs> Let's be honest. It is at this point. We'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye, everybody.